I know this doesn't seem exciting, but multiplying this vector by the matrix, which in general sends one vector to some random other vector, okay, not random, it's a linear transformation, but sends it from one vector to another vector, changing both the length and direction. For this particular vector and this particular matrix, multiplying those together, I ended up with three times the vector I started with. Now, just to show you that this doesn't happen magically for every vector, um, if I take that vector, if I take this matrix and I multiply it by almost any other vector at all, so let's say it's a one, negative one, this doesn't happen. This matrix should send this vector somewhere entirely different. So four times one, that's four, plus uh, four plus two, so that's six. Bad example, my six is matched, don't worry about it. Negative three times one, that's negative three, and negative nine, so that's negative 12. So if that top equation worked out to be a times x was equal to three times the vector I put in, I've got a times some random vector. This is not a multiple of what I started with. This transformation just sent the vector one, negative one, to the vector six, negative 12. Okay, it's gonna be like down here below my screen somewhere. I'll just put an arrow there. But when I multiplied the matrix by a very particular vector, two, one, the result was that I ended up with a vector that it was that was exactly three times the length of what I started with. And this very special relationship where for a given matrix, multiplying by a specific vector results in only stretching the length of that vector that's when we call that vector and that special number an eigenvalue eigenvector pair. So in general, any time that I end up with a situation where a times a vector is equal to lambda times the same vector, where this is a constant, then I say that x is an eigenvector, And lambda is the eigenvalue. 